Hi folks, this is another video on Amagami Ham Ham. So in this video, I'm going to try out the mechanism from Meow Ever in Amagami Ham Ham. So you may have seen my video on Meow Ever. It's a robotic cat cushion that has this mechanism in it which gives the sensation of purring and the sounds of purring and it also has a heartbeat. There's also a gel pack that you can put in this cat so you get the sensation of heat as well. I'll put a link in the description if you would like to see that video. And today we're going to try this mechanism out of me however in Amagami Ham Ham. What it consists of is some touch sensors, there's three of them, and then you can have a slow beating heart or a fast beating heart or no heartbeat at all. And you've got the on and off switch there, and of course the batteries go inside this. It's got a speaker on it here for hearing the purr, and it's got like some sort of vibration in it for feeling the heartbeat and feeling the purr. And if you haven't seen this fella before and you're wondering what it is, it is a finger nibbling robot. Now that is a pretty wacky concept. And I know a lot of people say it's creepy, it's weird. Why would you even want that? But I challenge anybody to actually try one of these out and not have some sort of reaction either cracking up laughing or or sort of like oh wow <laughs> that feels strange i i do not believe somebody could try out one of these and just have a flat reaction and say that's like just boring and it has been made to help with stress relief and i think it probably could be quite stress relieving so for folks who haven't seen this before, I'll give you a quick demo. But if you would like to see a full unboxing and review of this, I'll put the link down in the description. It's got 24 different ways of nibbling your finger and it's random. Sometimes it won't nibble at all. And as I found, out at half past five in the morning there see this time's not nibbled my finger it can very occasionally nibble without you putting your finger in it so i had this on my pillow at 5 30 a.m and it woke me up the mechanism woke me up because it was going right next to my head so not a good idea to put this on your pillow folks certainly not when it's switched on And as one of my viewers said, it's a pity it doesn't do anything else. It's a pity it doesn't make any sounds. So with the help of this, hopefully I'll change that. So Amagami Ham Ham has a pouch at the back. That's where the battery box is located. But there's some space in here. I'm hoping that the Meow Ever mechanism will fit in. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't fit in, folks, so what I'll have to do is take the battery box out and see if I can fit it in then. Okay, so it's still a squeeze. If I actually push the mechanism that's in the head up to fit that in, it really distorts it. So I'm going to just try it like that because I can still try it out by stroking it. And um, if I liked it, I would alter the pouch at the bottom to have more room. But we'll just try it like that first. So I'll switch it on. 
and should still be able to operate the touch sensors. Yeah, I can feel the heartbeat. The way this works, you've got to stroke it quite a while before it starts to purr. So let's see if we can get purring first. And then I'll try the combination of purring and nibbling. Yeah, it's just started purring. I can feel the vibration through the fur as well. <laughs> it's decided not to nibble at the moment. I can just feel the heartbeat at the moment. <laughs> so, yeah, I can certainly feel the vibration and hear the purr. And I can get the touch sensors to work through the fur and the stuffing on Amagami Ham Ham. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to extend this pouch down below, take some stitching out to allow this to go in and then try it again. So I've taken the stitching out of the pouch here and what I've decided is to try actually putting this into the body and seeing if we could get the touch sensors on the belly of the cat. Well, I would say that's more relaxing and it does add something. It's too much of a squeeze to get the battery pack in as well, though. If I wanted to make this a permanent feature, what I'd have to do is I'd have to get Paul to put some smaller battery in this, like lithium iron, that I could recharge. But yeah, it does add something. I can feel the heartbeat now. So I think I'll get Paul to try this out and see what he thinks of it. So you can feel the heartbeat? Yeah, I can feel it quite clearly through uh, my hand. Try, try heartbeat and nib nibbling finger combination. Yeah, it feels more alive, doesn't it? <laughs> mm. The heartbeat's very good. It's like a, it feels like a boing, boing, mm. boing. It's not a simple sound. It, mm. it feels like well, something it's physical, doesn't it? It's vibration rather than sound, isn't mm. it? What do you think of the purr in the Amagami Ham Ham? It's nice, yeah really goes. Mm. Well, it is a cat, isn't it? Yeah. Stop purring now. I can feel the heartbeat again now. Ah, right, so it's like alternated. Mm. Yeah, it would be nice if you could uh, actually fix it into the Yamagami ham pam. Mm. Mm. It would be, uh, it would be, it's a great combination, the heartbeat, uh, the purring. And the nibbling. Uh, and the nibbling, yeah. yeah. It's really, it really makes you feel like a real live critter. Yeah. And they're all quite subtle as well, aren't they? Yeah. So I was saying uh, that um, the battery pack won't fit in. Mm. I was wondering, Paul, mm. this is three double A's. Yeah. Would it be possible to have a small lithium 
battery that was it would yeah, yeah. the same voltage let's see uh, three times one and a half is 4.5 isn't it so uh, can you get them at 4.5 uh, a lithium ion cell when it's charged is about 3.7 might be close enough to work because a lithium ion battery for the that voltage you could get a really small one couldn't you yeah much mm. smaller than that battery box oh yeah yeah much more and then that would fit in mm. and obviously um we'd have to figure some way to to be able to recharge it you'd have to have like a lead or something wouldn't it mm -hmm. so that may be coming in a future video folks so i would say that that's been a success wouldn't you paul i would yeah it's purring and chewing now. <laughs> mm, that's been a success. Do you think you would be able to uh, shrink everything down and to uh, be able to zip it up at the back? I think if it had a lithium iron <clears throat> battery in, it would be able, we would be able to zip it up, yeah, which mm. would be great. So, folks, as I say, that's going to be a future video, don't you think, Paul? Mm. I think so. Yes, I think it'll be worth it. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that, folks. Thanks for watching, as always. And see you next time.